Hi, I'm Michelle Kume and welcome back to the video. In this video, I'm reacting to Tuna Eternity episode 19. So, should we talk about last week's episode? Yet another sad and tragic one. We began with Tanari meeting Fushi back at the island. She went back for him, which I was very happy about because even though we know Fushi can escape on his own, which he showed us since he'd already escaped by the time she got there, it was nice to see someone caring enough to go back for him, especially Tanari, who we didn't like as much at first, but really made me like her over the last few episodes, especially when she went back for him and sacrificed her freedom for him. So they both escaped. They spent the night there because of a storm. Bad omen from the get-go. <laughs> But we had this great conversation between them and about Tanari's dad and Fushi giving her, well, saying the right thing. Fushi has become such an amazing person. But yeah, saying the exact right thing that Tanari needs to hear, that she's her own person, that you do not have to be what your parents were, and that was great advice for her. They slept, they woke up the next day, and they're about to leave, and then knockers. The knockers were back, and they had improved tenfold. 100 fold whatever you want to say they were so much better because this time they were taking over bodies now they began by just taking over dead bodies and even though they were dead fushi was still finding it hard to attack them because they were humans and to attack people like faces that he knew or faces that he even didn't know but they looked like humans it's not easy and i felt so bad for him but Tanari was about to die and then her other friends appeared and saved her and started fighting with them. And I was kind of happy but also like why did you guys come like you're gonna die someone's gonna die and I was not wrong the first to go was my favorite Upa she was so sweet and cute and I loved her and I didn't want her to die but it wasn't just that she died it was because the knockers went into her controlled her made her so they took over her body so sh they killed her in that way as well so Upa was gone and then using her body they killed Mia as well and Mia was a sweetheart as well and she <sighs> she died too and Fushi couldn't do anything that was the saddest thing like Fushi felt so helpless they were like can you do something to save her you're immortal like do something and I felt bad that they were putting pressure on him because he literally can't do anything and it's not his fault and I felt so bad for him. But also what hurt the most in this episode wasn't the deaths. It was Fushi's reaction and Fushi having to go through the hurt and blaming himself and all that. It just breaks my heart. And then finally we had Uroi go sacrificing himself to save Fushi. He threw Fushi in the mole form and then he died too. And that's where we left off. The preview does not give me hope. It just looks like it's gonna get worse because Hayase is still around and she can make things even worse even though the knockers are already bad enough. I'm scared. It's the second last episode. I expect death, <laughs> basically. But let's get into the reaction. Okay, I'm ready. Let's do this. Three, two, one, go. There was this moment where Tanaya was like, we don't have to go. Like, we can stay. The island can take care of themselves. Like, you don't have to go back and fight. But... Fushi is just that kind of guy who's not gonna, like, first of all, he probably feels responsible for the knockers and, like, he's the only one that can fight them properly. But also, like, he's not gonna leave people behind. He's become compassionate and caring. And he, even though these people aren't all good people, he's still gonna go and fight the knockers and protect them. And that's something that's amazing about him. But yeah, we ended up with, oh, and one of his forms was taken as well. This was so sad. My question is, can Fushi turn into the knock? Because technically, he should be able to. But unlike Gugu and March and the others who, like, stayed with him, these people walked off into their paradise. So this is why I'm curious. Like, is Fushi going to turn into them or not? Will he want to? I mean, this is always a question. Like, I'm always like, does he want to turn into them? But he always has. Like, he he turned to Gugu. He turned to March. turned into Perona as well. Um... Also, appear on us. She's she's still in the boat. I hope she is. I hope she doesn't appear because I cannot have her dying right now. Like as long as Piran survives all this, Fushi will still have someone. And one of the people, the person who's been with him the longest, the person who knows the most about him, is closest to him. Um. So Halsey's death really did hurt, though. I mean, I'm so sad that Upa and Uroi and Mia are all gone. All we have left is the kid with bow and arrow and Tanari. And I don't have a lot of faith for them serving either. Oh, it's just... I'm still... Can I talk about how I'm still not over Gugu's death, though? For some reason, Gugu's death has just affected me the most. I don't know if you guys feel the same way, but his death still hurts me. Like, these deaths are sad too, but nothing has come close to Gugu for me. Maybe because we didn't have much, as much time with the others? I don't know. But 
still very sad. I'm still very sad that they're dead. And I don't know what they're going to do in the next episode. We saw in the preview, if you saw the preview, um, Heist is going to appear. Trouble's going to happen. <laughs> Involving Tanari. Fushi is going to make sacrifices, I feel. Or... I'm very scared for Fushi, basically. I'm scared for what more he has to go through. And one form is taken, I forgot. Oh, here's Hayase. Is she pretending like she's protecting people? To make them favor her even more? She doesn't care about anyone but Fushi. But yeah, I think it was Gugu's form that was taken. Either that or Perona, I can't really remember. I guess we'll see from which one he turns into because those are his two strongest forms. How many knockers are there as well? Is each one like a singular knocker? Who, which one does he has to have to defeat to get his form back? I don't really get it, but they just keep coming and coming. Oh, it's entered her? She's not gonna let that happen, right? That would be way too easy. Ew! Wait, why is she enjoying this? Why does she want this to happen? Why is she so okay? You can't not tell me that they're gonna team up. She's crazy. This is gross though. Can we please do something about the thing in her arm? Wait, what happened? Is this thing to her? Yeah, no. You didn't treat him with any kindness at all. Ew! Okay. Okay. She managed to scare it off like that? What the hell? That's not what I expected at all. Oh no, she's caught sight of them. Oh no. Where's Fushi? Oh yeah, Fushi got thrown and taken by the owl. Oh, wondering rage. That doesn't sound very good. Of course, these two are mourning and really sad right now. They've just lost three of their friends. She knows. Use the people that Fushi cares about against him. Oh god, oh no. Oh no 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 Tanari, watch out! No 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 Yes! 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 Fushi, you my boy, you get her, yes. Well look at her face. Okay, she is the one character that I am okay with dying. Like kill her please. Something's gonna happen though, it's not gonna be that easy. Or he can't kill her. He doesn't have it in him. And honestly, I don't want Fushi to become a murderer. I want her to die some other way. That makes him human, you know? Did she get hurt on the way? I can't really remember. He's out of arrows! No, my boy, what are you gonna do? You gotta run! You gotta keep running! So he has Gugu. He has Gugu. It was Perona that was taken. Thank God for Gugu's form. It still makes me sad to see him, though. Like, because he even sounds like him. Moments like these kind of make me feel like he's still alive, you know? But... Gugu is honestly maybe his strongest form with all the fire and everything. Like, the bear is very strong too. But, like, look at that. <laughs> this is what I mean. Has he defeated them all? But now you've got a fire pit. Oh, it's done? Three. Okay, we need to get those last three so you can get your forms back. But that means they were multiple knockers. She doesn't know? Oh, they've got to kill their- No! Not the three of them! He has to kill the three! Those are the final ones! He can't! No. 
We saw him try and kill Upa before, and yeah, and it didn't go well. Oh. Look at him. Oh, honey. It's not your fault. God, no. It's not your fault. No, they came back by their own accord. I hate people who were blaming Tanari. Like, I don't agree with that. It's not your fault, Tanari. Exactly. I mean, it's the knocker's fault. <sighs> Basically, so you need to get rid of them now. You need to take care of it. You know what you have to do. It's painful, but you know what you have to do. No! Get away. No! How did she do that? So oh my god, Tanari. Okay. Okay. So I was... I thought the knockers would end up killing her, but Hayase? How did she do that so quickly? Like, Hayase is... Insanely skilled. And what for return? In what return for what? Wait. Then why do you hold Tanari there? You are disgusting. She must keep him pure. Obviously, he doesn't want to kill them, but... She's so messed up. I don't even know what to use to describe her. And why are you holding Tanari on the fire? Uh, no, thank you. You haven't told him what you're negotiating. What is wrong with her? Does she want Fushi like to accept her or something? She's awake. Wait, so she's saying, I won't kill Tanari if you let me kill those three? What kind of deal is this? Honestly, though, they need to- Go! What are you doing? This can't be the end, no! This cannot be the end of Tanari, it can be the end of Haisei, but not Tanari! No! No! <sighs> Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. <sighs> Good job, boy! It's just... I have no words. I love him so much and he's so great. And yes, we have captured Hayase now. She's asleep. Don't know how long that will last. But this is the second time that Tanara has woken up really fast. Is she like immune? Oh, look at her though. She seriously thought she was gonna die just there. Like she'd given herself. But now what? 
They need to be killed. I know you don't want to, but they need to be killed. Can they please not show it though? I really don't want to see it. Oh, Tanara's gonna do it? She probably feels it's like her responsibility. Fushi. Look at his face! This pains him so much! Please not show this. I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. Okay, they skipped it, right? They didn't show it. Thank you. I appreciate that. I can I can take that if I, if they showed that. Like, especially Upa. Now what? Is it over? Did honey, she did. She was her first friend, right? Yeah. Oh. Doing this just makes me sadder though, telling me all this. Oh Uroi really was a hero that last episode. Like he sacrificed himself for the good and for Fushi and oh. which is fair enough. They did, they had good moments. What do they plan to do with them? It's weird seeing them call their island leader. But they came back for Fushi and for her. At least they got to fight together one last time. Like they even they're breaking down for her, for them. See? Exactly. Don't cry, you're gonna make me cry. Like seeing these strangers cry for these kids. It's not right for them to have died. It, they were way too young. Same way with March dying, she was way too young. I think March might have been even younger than Upa or something. She's not gonna stay. Please don't make her stay. Please don't make her stay. No. Fear she can. It's not your fault. They need someone, but who? Could Tanari become their leader? I really want her to just leave. Could this really be the trigger for them to stop killing each other? This be it? Could this actually change this prison island? Is it possible? Can we please get out of here though? Please, I need you to get out of here. He needs to go find Pioran. This mindset hurts me. I join him? I honestly didn't expect that boy to die. Was that bad? I expected him to die. I didn't expect him to live. Really? Honestly, I wanted them to get out of here, but it's also so showing of their personalities that they want to stay to help those that got hurt. The place that they were raised, I guess.
I'm just kind of sad. <laughs> I really hope that happens. That would be really nice to see this island change from what we saw it as from the beginning. I believe in you, girl. If you put your mind to it, you can do it. Go, girl. I don't know how to feel, though. Like, I'm proud of her for doing this and for staying and trying to make change. But I also just really wanted to see her get away after everything. I really do think this is it. This is the perfect time for things to change. Oh, even Fushi's able to smile. Yeah, give him the fruit. He wants the fruit. Oh. For just a little bit of good to come out of what happened. It's... It makes me feel better, you know? It makes it a little... Better. Are they not going to be added to the wall then? Were they not close enough? I don't really know. Oh yeah, I forgot about her. What's he going to do with her? Can we please get rid of her? <laughs> Yeah, can we imprison her or something, please? You stay strong. Aww. This is it, this is goodbye. No. That's it. I'm really scared the same thing is going to happen with Perona, that one day he's just going to transform into, like, Tanari, though. I mean, eventually she will die, but, like, is she- this form, like... Oh, I want to see that. Please do. I don't know, does she have, like, romantic feelings for him now? Really? Is Ligar going to go too? But he doesn't want to leave you, right? Wait, so Fushi's gonna have Ligard as a companion? Really? Oh, that's cute. Fushi and his bird. But also, Piran is out there waiting for you. You know, Fushi? She's out there waiting. Don't wake up. Please don't wake up. Go back to sleep. Because I doubt those ropes can keep... Oh, he's like, I'm facing you. Let's see what's gonna happen. I'm so like... Oh, it's so tense. <laughs> ew, her her expressions make me like ew, uncomfortable. She must be elated to be alone with him. You. Modesty is not the word I'd use. Yeah. That's so messed up. Does she, her like feelings for him are so twisted. That is not love or that's a really messed up form of love. When he tore someone apart, that was what made her love him, love him. Oh no, he knows love. He knows pure love. That's no, 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 no. Stay away. He's not going to. She's so messed up. Oh my God. You know. form he wants I think even if she died he would never take on her form 
no. She is seriously wrong in the head. She assumes that she like likes Fushi. That she loves him. Or it's a very twisted form of love. You get away. Thank God he's getting away from her. I'm so scared. She's gonna survive those and she's gonna come back. This isn't the end. I can't, like, I don't believe this is the end, unfortunately. You're not alone. And then he will not take her form because if he's not got any connection, emotional connection, he won't take the form. So even if she dies, he won't take her form. Is this rejection going to turn into something else then? Like hatred though? Oh god, no. Here, we can't have the knockers and her teaming up. No. What just happened? So it went in her, so now she's a knocker. But what's going to happen after that? Also, no ending? Where are we going? Oh, who is she? I don't think enjoy with be the right. Well, maybe some of it. Don't know. I appreciate I really like that she's looking forward. You've got your friend. You've got yourself a friend. <laughs> Why does this feel like the last episode? We've got one more, right? Oh. <laughs> I really want to see him and Pierre on Unite. Like, reunite, please. Give me that. Yes! No? Where is she? Where are we? Okay, wait, I didn't want to see the, the I didn't want to see the preview for the last episode. Um, so we're not gonna watch that. It seems pretty long, is this in the end? I'm not looking, I'm not looking. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, I decided not to watch the preview for the final episode because I want to go into it blind. Um, all I know from the little bit I saw is Pia run and then we're gonna year reunite, but I kind of already assumed that. So he must have made it back to where they began before they set off to Jananda. Is that how you say it? I never tried saying the island name before. Jananda? Jananda? Whatever the name was, the prison island. They must have gone back now to where they were before, basically. And he's going to reunite with Pierma, and that's going to be great. But it was so weird. This episode really felt like the end. Like, they didn't even play the ending. You know what I mean? Like, it felt... Like, bittersweet, kind of? I mean, I guess it was the end to an arc. It was an end to this part of his journey. He lost Upa and Mia and Uroi, and then he said goodbye to Tanari and Boy, who I'm really upset, I don't know his name. <laughs> boy, we'll call him Boy for now. Uh, I'll go back to the boy from episode one. But yeah, I mean, this was a tough episode seeing them broken over losing their friends and then obviously Fushi, Fushi having to kill them. Tanari almost dying but being willing to die if that means she can wipe Hayase away from Fushi's life. Thank god he saved them because I did not want Tanari to go that way. And I'm actually so surprised that Tanari and the boy didn't die though. I'm really happy they didn't die. Thank god but I'm not- I feel like we're not out of the water yet. We've got one more episode to go and for all we know, it could be like with Perona and one day Fushi just transforms into Tanari. One day too soon because we know Fushi's immortal, we know they're eventually gonna die, same as Pierre and she's eventually gonna die, but I'm scared that it's gonna happen sooner than we think. But there shouldn't be a reason right now. I mean, I don't want to say thanks to what happened with the Knockers, but thanks to what happened with the Knockers, the island has changed now. Tanari is working hard as the leader now as well to change things, make it an island of unity and purity and 
a place where they can be happy without killing each other, you know? And I'm really glad that something good came out of this in the end. It was a horrible situation, it hurt a lot of us, especially Fushi and Tanari and the boy, but they're gonna make it through. I'm really happy about that. And then we had that final moment between Hayase and Fushi, and basically she believes that she loves him in this very twisted form where she wants all of him to herself. She claims that she killed March and Perona because of jealousy, I assume? I guess that this is what she means, like, she was like, I, they were trying to have you all to themselves, so I killed them so that I could be the only one with you. Is there a word to describe her this kind of behavior? Like, obsessive? Possessive? Both? Yeah, basically that. Um, and in the end, she even wanted him to kill her so that she would be a form that he takes, so he, she believes they would become one. Now, we know that Fushi only turns into the people that he has emotional attachment to, so that would never happen. Thank God that it would not be able to be a possibility. But I'm curious about the three other kids. Is he never going to be, never going to turn into them? Was it their emotional attachment not enough? Or did they just leave to their paradise? Because I feel like it also has a choice, and maybe they chose not to stay and just to leave all three of them together. Whereas Gugu and Marsh decide to stay. Don't know about the boy, um, but... I don't know, I want to know more about that, like, what determines who he turns into and who not? Does Perona want to stay as well? I don't know. That's a mystery that I don't think we're gonna get solved in this season, in the last episode, but I'm very curious about that. But yeah, he left Haise, like, goodbye, thank god, but maybe he should have taken her back and locked her up, because now a knocker has taken over her, and I knew this wasn't gonna be the end of her, but like, is it still her, or... I don't know, I don't know. We'll have to see when this new combination of Hayase and Knocker comes to be. Appears! I doubt it's gonna be in the next episode, but we now know we've got this anime waiting, and I don't know. Like, Hayase is incredibly skilled and a warrior and powerful and strong, and to combine her with the Knocker is gonna be dangerous, and I am very scared for that, basically. I'm very scared for Fuji having to. Like, I knew this wasn't going to be the end and I really wish that we could get rid of Hayase, you know? I really don't want Fushi to kill her, but I really wish that there was a way just to get her out of the picture. I didn't, like, I thought at the very beginning she was going to be gone, like when we first left Perona, I thought that was it, but she just keeps coming back and I feel like she's going to be that like fly that just keeps coming back, you know? Oh, I don't know. But I don't know what to expect with the last episode. I skipped the preview, obviously, and I think hopefully it's just going to be a nice chill way to end Tina but I'm... I'm expecting a cliffhanger ending, basically. And yeah, but I mean, this was a very bittersweet episode and a nice close to this arc. And I was just glad to see that Fushi was smiling at the end because that's all I want. I want him to be smiling and I'm glad that he's not beating himself too much over this. Like we saw that he did with Gugu after Gugu died. Okay, I'm gonna end it here. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to like and subscribe if you did and follow me on Twitter. Until next time, bye!